Most of us don't give energy a second thought as we go about our day. From using our smartphones to making our dinner, we barely notice how much it affects our lives. But imagine relying on kerosene lamps for light, or drawing water from a well every day. Imagine life without a refrigerator, or a washing machine, or a television. This is the reality for over 40% of the world's population. 1.3 billion people do not have access to modern electricity. And almost 3 billion people rely solely on solid fuels for cooking and heating. Access to efficient and affordable energy will be a central component in eliminating poverty. However, the way we currently generate energy through burning fossil fuels is responsible for over 60% of greenhouse gas emissions. We must fundamentally rethink the way we power our societies to avoid the worst effects of climate change and achieve sustainable development for all. Over the last decade, Humana partners have been working to address aspects of energy access in the communities where they work, which are often in hard to reach rural areas. With support from the European Union, Humana member ADPP Guinea-Bissau worked with 24 rural villages in the Oyo region to equip community facilities with renewable energy services. The project installed standalone solar power systems for lighting and AC appliances in 24 community centres, 11 schools, 7 health centres and 9 mosques. It also established 36 solar-powered water pump systems and 7 community processing centres. Approximately 14,000 people across 24 villages now have light in schools, mosques and health centres. They have access to information and entertainment services through their community centres. The community was very suffering, but now they have water. Os adultos têm já escola de já tem escola de alfabetização, tem escola pré-escolares, tem eles podem assistir filmes, jogos, diferentes coisas e pode ter reunião qualquer hora nos centros comunitários, ter luz. Water for household consumption and irrigation is easily available, and post-harvest losses can be minimized through processing services meaning that produce can be used for much longer. Over the last five years, Humana People to People India has been working to increase uptake of biogas for heating and cooking in the Dausa district of Rajasthan. Over 400 families in 100 villages have constructed biogas plants for household use, with many benefits for families. This is the biogas plant for biogas plant. This is the biogas plant for biogas Women in the project report saving over three hours a day because they no longer need to collect firewood or make dung cakes, and because cooking is now quicker. Many women have also reported a reduction in eye and throat problems, which could have been caused by high exposure to smoke from burning wood and dung cakes. The byproduct of biogas, slowy, is also being used as an alternative to fertilizers, further reducing costs for families. और इसमें खरपतवार की भी ही मात्रा नष्ट होती है और रोड़ी वाले खाद से दिमाग का प्रकोप ज्यादा होता है।
From 2011 to 2014, Humana member ADPP Mozambique managed an EU-funded project to establish 40 solar-powered charging stations that rent solar lanterns to local communities. Project staff trained 40 men and women to manage the charging stations and another 200 community members in entrepreneurship to build demand for lanterns. The cost to rent lanterns is just a fraction of the cost of kerosene, the most commonly used alternative for lighting. The difference between the chamine and the lantern is that the chamine is a very good thing and it is a very good thing. And then, if you use the lantern, you will not have a problem because you will not have a problem. And communities have largely embraced the initiative. Families also report that their children are able to read and study in the evenings. And people no longer have to travel to the nearest city just to charge their phones. Street and market vendors are now able to sell their goods after dark, providing the opportunity to increase their income. <laughs> Humana's work with communities to increase access to renewable and affordable sources of energy has significant and positive impacts on aspects of families' productivity, income and health. It is also playing a role in enhancing gender equity, as well as access to education. The particular needs and constraints of hard-to-reach communities present both challenges and opportunities for developing new models of energy production and distribution. And communities are taking the lead where investment and human capacity obstacles can be overcome. But governments, companies and civil society must come together to find solutions for all members of all communities. Expanding access to affordable, reliable and sustainable energy to all is achievable and Humana members are playing their part to bring energy access to the hardest to reach areas.